Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. You clicked on this video because you're wanting to know about meshes, importing them into um, Roblox. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you Blender, Unity, GIMP, and how to put all those tools together to do UV mapping and to import some really good meshes into your game. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I've opened up Blender here, and this is on just a, a default screen. This right here is um, a cube, and if you wanted to edit the cube, you can always hit Tab, hit A to unselect all of this, the meshes here. Right click on any one of these, um, or multiple. If you hold Shift, you can grab multiple ones. Just hit uh, G to grab. This way it'll move it around. Hit, uh, let's see, it's not gonna work with just one vertice, so hit R to rotate, and hit S to scale or like make it big and big and small. Now, here's kind of the cool thing. If I hit Control Z, I can undo all those just like that. Now, the way this also works, I hit Tab to go into Object Mode, Tab to go to, in, to Edit Mode. What we're going to do is uh, in Object Mode, I'm gonna show you if I hit Rotate, it's just rotating around a certain spot. After I've hit Rotate, I can hit X to only rotate it on the X axis, Y to only rotate it on the Y axis, or Z to only rotate it on the Z axis. Now, the X, Y, Z coordinates of Blender are different than the ones that are inside Roblox. X uh, is kind of the same, Y is up and down, and Z is left and right. So it's a little flipped from what you're used to, but it won't really matter when we're doing what we're doing right now. So um, this is a great gray box, but in order to import it into um, Roblox, I would have to put some kind of texture on this or something else. And as it stands right now, this is just a very boring box. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to switch into edit mode, select all the vertices, and then up here, I'm going to select UV editing, boom. Now, normally this should just unwrap it by itself. If it doesn't, you can always go up to uh, UV unwrap. This is not a blender tutorial, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there if you wanted to go and learn Unity by yourself. Uh, tons and tons of things. Hold on. There we go. Get a little bit of background music going for us. That way it's not completely just my voice. So, um, what we have to do is we have to slap a mesh on this. We have to, or a UV. We have to put some kind of image on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to new and just call this um, dice cube, just like that. And I'm going to hit OK, done, right? And now I have a new mesh uh, or a new UV, but there's nothing on it. There is a way that you can draw directly, but I'm going to show you how to use GIMP to do this. So we're going to go to file. And then, uh, da, da, da. no, no, we're going to go to image and hold on one second. UV, maybe it's UV. There we go. Export UV layout. All right, and I'm just going to call this uh, dice cube dot png, and that's going to be under my OneDrive documents. Nice. Export done. Now hold on one second. I'll fire up GIMP. Okay, so I've got GIMP fired up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file open we're gonna go to that same spot under documents and it was called what dice cube this one right here so here's the actual layout of the uv inside gimp i need another layer to actually paint on because if i just do this layer it's just going to be a box so right click over here i'm going to go to new layer boom done hit ok and right here, this new layer, this is the one I'm actually going to be drawing on. Now I kind of want that below this so that way I can paint underneath all of this layer. <laughs> so to do so, um, let's go over to our paintbrush and I'm just gonna write, um, let's see, let's, let's do this. Let's make this size a little bit bigger and I'm going to put um, maybe that size like that, that looks good. So, oh, that's that's not good. I, I want a solid color, please. So I'm just gonna do like a dice. One here, and then uh, the opposite side of this needs to be six because all sides of a dice on the opposite side, if you take one and plus six, it's seven. Two plus five, seven. Three plus four, seven. So all sides need to correspond to seven. So let's go one, two, three, four, 
six. And this is just gonna be real quick. I don't wanna be too precise. This should be one, two, three, four, five, opposite sides. And then this is going to be three, and this should be four. So my actual image is just this. This is what the image looks like. Okay, but I can tell where that's going to end up on the sides because we've unwrapped that mesh. So now, Control Shift E. Oh wait, 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 wait! I gotta hide that layer right there. Control Shift E. I'm going to export that as Dice Cube uh, filled. There we go. And that should export out. Go ahead and export. Good. And I'll meet you back over in Blender. So now that I'm back in Blender, I can actually come up here and change this file from the uh, documents dice cube to the dice cube filled. Open image. You can see it over here on the left hand side. You wanna see what it looks like over here. You just hit this textures button. Oh, and we did forget to do something. So I need to come back out of here. We're back into object mode. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select the base color of black because that's what I want it to actually be. Um, as far as the base color, I think I need to click this little button, do image texture click on open and then we can go and select documents and dice cube filled there we go so that's what our cubes actually going to look like inside roblox to uh to do this make sure that you just have whoop, press a a couple times make sure that you just select the dice go up to file export and we're going to obj wavefront right there dot obj now i think you can do other ones as well like fbx should work but obj i always do because it just is what i grew up with so let's call this dice cube dice cube dot obj and that should be under my documents folder hit export and i will see you over in roblox studio oh wait which one there it is Okay, so we are back in, wow, why did it do that? There we go. So we are in Roblox Studio. I did a cube test earlier, but that's not the point. So what you need to do is come down here to where your asset manager is, all right? And you're going to go to the main menu, meshes, right click. Oh, no, is that bulk upload? That is bulk upload. So maybe we don't need to go that far. Right click on meshes, and you're going to do add mesh, and then let's just go into our documents and we're going to go find that dice right there dice cube.obj hit okay you're going to get a couple of prompts usually i just hit apply all it says good all right and that is imported and now we have a dice cube so if i double click on this it adds it into the game right there now we can play with the mesh and everything else one other thing if you have some more detailed meshes like um and you want it to follow the actual skin of the mesh, you need to come over here on that object, go down till you find collision, precision, something. It's what it, what is it called? I completely forget this every single time. I know what it is, just, oh gosh. Precision, 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 collision, collision, precision. Oh, here we go, collision fidelity. We're gonna change that from default to precision convex decomposition. That's why I can never remember, it's huge words. But that will give us a uh, custom, whoa, 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 whoa. Come back here. That'll give us a custom, and I hit Control Z on that, dang it. That'll give us a custom object inside the game, right there. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. Maybe even stack them on top of each other because they are going to be physical. Oh gosh, that one's inside the, the next one. Shouldn't have done that. There we go. Hit F5. Go into the game. And we can see them falling over. And they are now physical objects. We have our own little dice inside the game. So, what about making something a little bit more robust. Instead of just being a cube or something that we built inside Blender, what if we wanted to use an asset that we liked inside Unity? I'm gonna show you that now. So just to kind of give you a quick um, thing, you need to go into Unity 
uh, unity.com and download the free version. It does require you to have a license for personal use. Um, you can always come to this page, click on get started. It is free. You have to download the Unity Hub and then install one version of Unity. Luckily for me, I already had it installed. I, sh I can show you that I do have three different versions right now. I have betas and, uh, wait, I have long-term services, which are the stable versions, and I do have some alpha versions. For this demo, I'm probably just gonna use the 2019, but I need to get out to the asset store first. So once you've logged into the Unity store, you're gonna come up here and see assets. 3D, 2D, textures, templates, all of these are usable, um, but you're going to have to export them from, like you're gonna have to bring them into Unity and then export them out as OBJ, OBJ objects. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm just gonna do cars. I'm gonna show you over here on the right hand side, you're going to select free assets right there. And right here is the, oh wait, Where's the low poly ones? I think I already had. Okay, these are race cars. Loading 3D models. That kind of looks like a jailbreak car. Holy cow. So very nice, very nice car. We could actually take this and import it into uh, Unity, export it back out as an actual like game object for Roblox. But I've already got one that I've got in mind. It is low poly, so we'll go check that out first. So as you can see here, the one that I downloaded is called Low Poly Cars, amazing cars, some, some kind. And I love the way these look, but they're probably not gonna look like that inside Roblox. So let's go ahead and hit open in Unity. My apologies, I didn't have an, a, a project opened up. So I need to go to new project. We're going to select 3D core and just hit create project. I'm gonna call this uh, Roblox car imports. Just like that, create a project. We'll wait for that load up. Okay, it looks like Unity has loaded up for us and basically it's the same kind of thing. Like most editors, you right click to kind of move around, use WASD to kind of move around inside the, the game and then you can also use zoom in and out like that or you can hold shift, let's see, is it shift? Or is it, no, it's just click, okay. So what we need to do first is we are, go oh sorry, E makes you go up, Q makes you go down. There you go. So what we need to do first is we're going to go over here to the asset store, the, the tab that's inside Unity. I'm gonna go grab my actual uh, asset. We're gonna open it inside Unity. So let's go over here, go to my assets, and then inside this one right here, we're going to hit download, which that's going to take a second. Maybe not. It's decrypting the package. That's actually really fast. Now import. It's decompressing. This shows you a preview of everything it's going to bring into the game. So I am going to have this folder called cars. Let's go ahead and hit import. I'm going to pause for just a second while that imports. Now you may get a couple of errors whenever the, these are loading because the versions might be different. Uh, I didn't check to see which version I'm supposed to be using for this poly set, but if we go and look at the console, we can tell all the actual items that didn't get loaded, they were discarded because they had um, self intersecting and have been discarded. So let's go into project and we should now see cars, models, and then and here are the different cars that we have. So let's go back into scene. And we're just gonna go into this 350 Sport. Uh, it looks like all of these, uh, all the demos, like they had over there on the uh, page, those have been discarded inside the scene. So let's go and grab the 350 Sport. I'm going to drop it inside the scene, just like that. Now, it doesn't look like this has any tires. Oh, it's got, okay, so it's got one tire that you replicate. So this is actually an object all by itself, and this is an object all by itself. Now the other thing is, uh, it doesn't have any kind of mesh on it. So let's go ahead and drag the 350 Sport mesh. See if that works. Ooh, that's horrible. That is a horrible look. Ah, oh, there it goes. That's, that's a little bit better. And then we also need the bump map, right? 
Anyhow, we're not going to be messing with it inside Unity. What we are going to do is we're going to look to see where this file is uh, under the asset cars, models, this stuff, and we're going to go and grab this file and this file. Now, because this is an actual object model, we should probably separate this out. So hang tight one second. Ah, never mind. We're just going to do this. Right click on the 350, and we're going to do Show in Explorer. And that should pull up the files. Here are all the, the straight files that we're going to need. And now in Blender, we're going to take this, copy, come back over here, go to Blender, File, oh, sorry, do Layout first. Then we're going to go to File, Import, FBX. I think it's an FBX, actually. Let's double check that. What kind of files are these? Uh, 350 Sport FBX. So they are FBX files. So up here, just paste in our path. I'm gonna go find the 350 Sport FBX import, just like that. Now I should see one tire right there. So I can grab that. I'm gonna stick that over here. And we're going to go ahead and delete that. So this is the only thing I want to export. I just want to export the tire. Uh, as far as I can tell, it does not have a texture on it yet. Whoa. Okay, maybe it does, but it's not the one that I want, so hold on. Okay, for right now, I'm not going to show the UV editing because I came over here to the UV edit and it still shows that my image is on there. So I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to right click on the car itself there's actually a couple of sets. So the full body, the windows, they can all be exported individually. So let's try something. Instead of doing the export through Blender, I'm going to go straight into Roblox itself. I'm going to go to File, Import. No, we are going to come down here to Images, no, Meshes and right click, come on. Ah, why are you not right clicking? Dang it. Back, there we go. Right click, add mesh, and I'm going to paste in that same path up here at the top, go to the 350 Sport, and this FBX. Uh, rescale if it's too large, and uh, reverse inward pointing mesh normals, uh, import files as a single mesh. I don't want to do hit apply all and let's go. So here's everything that just got brought in. Uh, couldn't find texture Nissan 350Z PNG. So we need to go and find that. And then tire combined PNG. Thank you war robots fan. Appreciate it. So we are going to need to find the, the body and the PNGs. So let's go ahead and hit import and the body, interior, normal. Um, I don't see tire. Is tire over here? Where was it trying to find it? Mm, documents, um, cars, and then textures, cars, textures, tires combined. So, hit open. Okay, we also need those other ones. Dang it. Go back over to cars, models, 350 sport, materials. So we need this one, this one, and this one. Open. Done. Now those will be uh, under the images folder, not the FBX folder, or the, sorry, the mesh folder. But that is done. Oh, I don't need to import again. I can hit exit on this. Now we should be able to come over to our asset manager, go into meshes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now if I do the 350, if I do the tire just by itself. Oh gosh, that doesn't look right. Oh, there it is. So it's got a weird back image on it, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. So there's the tire. 
Now let's do the um, body, double click, and the glass, and the interior. So, uh, as long as I put these all at the same spot, let's go here, let's do the, the body, we'll look for position. Here, let's just uh, grab that out of the way. We're gonna grab this one's position, like this, copy. We're gonna go to the glass, put its position as the exact same thing, and do the interior as the exact same thing. And that should line everything up. Looks like we are slightly off with the interior, or maybe the glass, the glass looks off. So if we do a move right there, Move it forward just a little bit, like that. And we can turn off under model our studs. Zoom in just a little bit, like that. There we go. That is slightly off, isn't it? So, wait, why, why is the scale so... Hmm, it is slightly off, isn't it? There we go. Let's try that. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Nice. And then the interior. I'm not sure that we need to change anything about the interior. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hit Control Z on that. Put that right back down where it was. Can we bring it up a little bit? No, let's take it down a little bit. Like that. Maybe. Match up the wheel wells. That'll be good. Best that we can. Might even look a little bit off, but that's fine. Now, with the glass, I do want it to be slightly transparent, so we're just going to give it a 0.75, like that. I'm gonna grab this tire over here, move it right in place. That looks massively big, maybe too big. Uh, we should be able to combine these three. I'm not gonna combine them right now, I'm just gonna move them up. Actually, we can hit Control G and G and group them as a model. We're just gonna call this model uh, 350 Sport, just like that. Now, let's grab this tire. Drop it in there, come on. Ooh, that looks nice. GG, looking good. Okay, um, now let's go back over to our um, images. We're gonna find the tire combined and if we just drag that on, does that work? Or actually, hold on, where is it? Um, that's the mesh ID, there we go, texture ID, tire combined. Ooh, nice. So that's what the tire kind of looks like. Let's move this down just a little bit. Good, 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 good. So um, if we go to the 350 Sport, we look at the Sport body, go to the Texture ID, and we can grab that one. Ooh, nasty. Hold on, what about that one? What about that one? There we go, that looks better. So now it's all starting to become textured and, and look very nice. We're going to need four more of these. Duplicate. Pull it to the back. It does look slightly off, but I'm not going to be a perfectionist at this time. Now, in, instead of me like copying all four, I'm just going to duplicate this. Rotate it. And we're going to go weak like that. And then move it to this side. Make sure they're on the inside of the wells, just like that. Oh, this is slightly off, isn't it? That is going to bug me. Is it like that on this side? Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be designed. Now, again, I'm not going to do this like perfect or professionally. I'm not gonna show you how to like make the car drive. This is just for meshes. So let's go ahead and grab these tires right here. Put them inside that sport model, just like that. I'm gonna take all of these and I'm just going to anchor them in place just so we can see what it looks like. 
uh, go down to the parts, anchored, and now if I hit F5, the car, although massively big, is in the game. And again, the uh, the high fidelity, the, the collision fidelity thingy, make sure that that's turned on if you're going to want precision collision with your other meshes. But that is how to import meshes using Blender, GIMP, Unity, and of course, Roblox Studio. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the videos. If I went too fast, feel free, pause the video, go back, have fun, mm -hmm. learn all these tools. Because with these tools, you can create some amazing games, and I wish you the best of luck. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.